For the last six years, I have lived alone, completely alone, void of any kind of living thing in my apartment. I could literally leave for like three weeks, come back, and I wouldn't have to worry about anything being dead when I arrived. Well, wouldn't you know it, one day, I decided I needed some more responsibility. So I went out and I bought a plant and a fish. I went out and I bought Gary. And I know what you're thinking. A fish is not responsibility, Alex. They literally give fish to toddlers. You just have to feed it. And that's true. But, you know, sometimes they get sick. And maybe you have to try five different medications. Maybe none of those work. And literally reach out to a YouTuber who makes YouTube videos about fish, and you ask this man in the comments section what he thinks about mixing two types of medicines to make the fish feel better. That can happen, it, it, hypothetically. And it's interesting to me because Gary represents a larger truth. Human beings like companions. For as fun as life is when you're on your own and you have no responsibilities, there's something even more rewarding about sharing that with something or someone. In my case, it's a dumb little fish named Gary that I love. Recently, my fish turned one. In another year, he will most likely be dead. And I will be the socially acceptable amount of sad when he does. Because while I hate to admit it, this tiny little fish has impressed upon me a larger truth. It's cool to have companions. It's cool to share your time with other things. It's okay to invest time and energy into something other than yourself. Being on your own is fine. Not being responsible for things or little tiny people is totally fine. But it's also fine to see what it's like. So if you're looking for somewhere to start, might I suggest a tiny little fish? Um, it's hard to make a video about a fish interesting.